Um, finding that balance is imperative to being able to perform at your absolute peak for longer. When I first got to the club, I was like, um, I was right into sport when I was a kid, but you know, I, get, I still remember getting my skin folds done for the first time, and I ended up getting the nickname Chunky because I was like pretty stocky, short. Like if I look back at it now, pro probably overweight. But um, you know, I guess I sort of had no idea about that, and you know, it's probably taken me realistically taken me 10 years to work out, particularly in the nutrition space, what's best for me. Um, I guess you know you've sort of and, and along with the, you know, the progression of um, an investment in sports science and those kind of things um, and you know, the education to players, um, I guess that's slowly catching up as well and um, you, know, you sort of get taught by the book at the start about you know, carb loading and, and um, you know, hydration and these kind of things but I think with nutrition what I've found is it's very individualised and um, you know, I think the challenge, which is which is difficult, um, is is tying everything together. You know, all the footy component, all the physical, which makes up you know the running and the weights, and then the nutrition and the mental side. There's a lot to it, but I think finding the right balance with nutrition is imperative. And and you know, as I said before, I think it's probably taken me 10 years to really work that out. I've tried a lot of different avenues, um, and really. You know, learning what my body reacts well to, and um, you know what works best for me is is partly to do with trial and error, but also um, you know I guess education and and you know being really in tune to you know how you're feeling. So um, I guess over over that journey, I was pretty poor at the start. Had no idea loading up with you know the spaghettis and and, and the passes and you know the Gatorades and that prior to the game and. You know, going into it thinking I'm feeling really good, but I guess over that period of time, you know, I've tried different diets, sort of went down the paleo path at one stage, and you know, I guess cut back on the meat as well at one stage, and sort of didn't go vegan or vegetarian, but I guess a, um, a version of that, you know, um, even to the point of you know trying to get that right body composition, composition and. Um, for, for what was going to work best for me, you know, dropping out meals here and there and that kind of thing, which never really worked for me until probably the last couple of years where I've really got a good hold of, you know, what, how I best feel going into a game and, you know, what is the, leak, the week leading into that and how do I, you know, best get to that point. You know, I guess over the last few years, I've probably got a really good handle on what works best for me, and um, you know, I, I you know, didn't find it too difficult to sort of cook up and make my own meals and that kind of thing. But you know, I've obviously had a couple of kids in the last couple of years, and that's obviously put a bit more pressure on. And I guess one of our greatest challenges is through that pre-season period because we train so much and so regularly, is is, is putting in enough fuel to allow you to keep training at you know, peak performance. But the transition into the season is the real difficult point. You know, we drop right back to, in terms of the volume of training we do from Monday to Friday, and we get that one big maximal hit out on the weekend with the game. Um, and what tends to happen, particularly someone like me, and you know, there's probably a handful of guys at, at our footy club that are similar, is as the season goes on, you know, could get to midway through the year. You know, you start the season in you know prime shape. You've done five or six months of training. You know, your body's in the best condition it could be. You're at optimal weight, all these kind of things. But unless you make that transition, both with your training and with your nutrition, what tends to happen is training drops off, but you keep maintaining the amount of food that you have, and the the weight tends to creep up. And you know, in no time, you can be a bit of a porker. You know, halfway through the year, so I guess I, I've probably had that challenge a bit myself. And um, you know, last year I think it was maybe midway through the season, I sort of assessed how I was going, and you know, that was probably one area where I could really refine it um, leading into the final 11 games of this season. And um, you know, I got suggested 
to give Prime a go through our club dietitian and one of the players that had already um, you know had a crack at it and um, you know I, I didn't want to just completely drop off the face and um, start something fresh without knowing how I'd react to it so I sort of started with three four days in a row and I felt like that worked best for me it was managing that managing the food intake and the fuel from Monday to Thursday still sort of loading up a little bit um, I'm not a carb loader myself but you know giving myself a bit of extra fuel in the couple of days leading up and then getting out there for the game and I felt like that really worked for me you know as I said I got to that mid-season point and my weight had definitely creeped up a bit and um, you know I, I sort of felt a bit sluggish and, and didn't feel as sharp and alert as I did earlier in the year and you know after three or four weeks on primal you know, really managing that intake Monday to Thursday, I started to really notice a significant difference. You know, my weight went down, I was recovering way faster. And, you know, by the end of the year, I'd probably dropped two or three kilos without even knowing and was playing at my absolute best. And um, I genuinely feel like, you know, that shift, both, um, you know, mentally and through the decisions with the food I made and jumping on board with Primal made a massive um, impact on you know how I performed in the the second half of the season, and you know, I guess from there I've I've really had to um, obviously buy into it because I felt like it was a real advantage for me, and um, you know I've I've loved it. I used it throughout our preseason, sort of in in stages, and um, you know gave myself a bit of a break leading into this this season, and then you know the, throughout the JLT practice match series this year got back on because I feel like it's an important part of my preparation and. Um, you know, I really feel like it, it leads me into games feeling the best, the best I'd felt in my entire career. Um, like for me, and that's, that's one thing that I've done through trial and error, is, is gain an understanding of how my body reacts to carbohydrates, in particular, you know, white starchy carbohydrate. Um, and, you know, I, I ended up phasing that out a while ago and it was probably balancing portion control is the reason I got onto primal but you know in the end I think eating you know cleaner foods um, that you know your body absorbs all the nutrients and removes whatever it doesn't need as opposed to just loading up for the sake of loading up due to you know raw numbers saying you need this much energy um, has been the real difference for me um, you know I, I, I like going into games feeling you know, light, alert, uh, full of energy, um, and you know, I feel like since I've got my nutrition right, in particular through that middle part of the week, I, I get into games feeling, you know, ready to go. You know, I think the most important period is post-game, probably those two days after, and the fact that I've, I'm into primal, literally, you know, 36 hours after the game is probably when I start my first meal and I, I do that for four or five days. I'm giving myself the best chance to recover and then prepare for the following week. And, and that's how I felt last year, which got me hooked onto it. That remainder of the season, I, I was going into games feeling, you know, light, alert and, and recovered, which is the main thing. And being able to back up week after week after week is, is a real challenge in the AFL system, particularly being such an impact sport you know, and um, you know, playing at such high speeds, huge kilometres being run, and, and you know, the added physical component to it, um, I've, I've really felt that you know, nutrition has been um, a real advantage for me. Buying right into that, and um, you know, in the end, I think you know, food is. I'm a real comfort eater um, and an emotional eater, and to be able to, um, you know. I guess put some framework around it without having to count calories and um, you know I guess go by the book in terms of you eat pasta, you eat bread and you load up for a game has been a real weight off my shoulders and um, you know I feel um, finding that balance is imperative to being able to perform at your absolute peak for longer.